Okay, good morning from my last day on the Ha Yang Loop. So, um, this is where we stayed last night uh, at this homestay with this really beautiful running river that kind of just comes down from these mountains right here. <laughs> and I, I mean, it's like crazy. This like, like this is like literally where we slept last night. Um, we're in this little village, like I said, Duja or Dujia, um, <clears throat> in my last vlog. And yeah, it's about 9 a.m. We're just gonna um, eat breakfast and pretty much get on the road. It's like 110 k's from here back to Hazyang City, uh, but that'll take all day. We should be there probably around like five in the afternoon. Um, Definitely feeling a little under the weather this morning. Every single homestay that I've stayed at on this drive, every night at dinner, people bust out either homemade corn whiskey or homemade rice wine. And they will not let you stop drinking until you basically pass out. <laughs> so I think I had something ridiculous like eight shots of rice wine last night or something at dinner, like homemade rice wine. And um, yeah, and then I passed out. <laughs> so. But it's all it's all good <clears throat> so time for breakfast and then uh we gotta get on the road and get going hopefully no rain today it's not raining now so that's all that's a good sign stop of the day is basically just the village that we stayed in uh, which is this market um, this is like a Hmong and also Thai market which are two different ethnic populations in northern Vietnam But yeah, I think this is just like the morning market. It's really busy. The clothes that the women wear are so beautiful. Like the colors and the headscarves, it's literally so pretty. Yeah. Do they have this market every day? Mm -hmm. Every day? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this place is just like crazy busy. Um, and people are super friendly, a lot of smiles. A lot 
lots of clothes being sold. <laughs> Uh, just uh, one. one. Yeah. Do you want one? No. No. Okay. Just one. Just one. Two thousand. Two thousand. Okay. Come on. What is this uh, called? No. I don't. No. Yeah. What is the name? Bánh rán Bánh rán Bánh rán <laughs> Oh, it's very hot, hot. <laughs> Very hot Bánh rán nóng Bánh rán nóng Okay Come on, thank you <laughs> Yeah, I just saw this woman making these like fried pastries My hands are currently full as you can see so uh, as soon as I can put some of this stuff down I'll try it Oh wow Snake? No. Turtle. Uh, uh turtle. <laughs> yeah. This woman selling like snake heads and turtle shells. Snake skins and turtle shells. Yeah. Just down for a second. Alright, now I can give this a try while oh my guy is shop shopping. It's really hot. Mm. It's basically filled with like a like rice flour. Like a sticky rice flour. Wow, this is insanely hot. Really good. Very dense, actually. Not light. This this is like a filling breakfast pastry. Very good, but we have to keep walking. Vietnam. All right, so back to the bikes. We'll head on our way. Pretty beautiful scene with the uh, the river right there. It's just really cool from all the rain yesterday, I imagine.
brings you here to this kind of like little cove waterfall area with these like gorgeous mountains that are of course covered in corn. Just absolutely awesome scenery <laughs> here, but we just left the waterfall um, and now we're getting back on the bikes to go back down that ridiculous road um, and hopefully get to some paved road soon, maybe. Just stopped for a quick second to take in this view, but getting back on the road now. It's just, it's hard not to stop every like, literally every like 20 meters. Little uh, roadside market here, among roadside markets selling snails, fish, all the good stuff.
My guide is buying fish. <laughs> he wants fish. Oh, yeah, do you Oh, they love the camera. Not always. <laughs> <laughs> so probably like 35 or so kilometers from Haziang City, but it's cold. It's cold on the bike today. <laughs> Alrighty, back on the road. Or time to get back on the road. <laughs> See you. That's a wrap on the Haziang Loop. Uh, look at my bike. It's covered in mud. But this thing's an absolute legend. Look at it. 110 cc Honda Blade. The thing is a beast. <laughs> For what I just put it through the last four days. But yeah. Dude, if you're coming to Vietnam, you have to do this. It is like the best, it was the best experience of my entire life, hands down, no doubt about it. Um, 
Like the views, the roads, driving, like you just, you're literally just driving through like the most extreme terrain. It's, it's really unbelievable. It's like the coolest, literally the coolest thing I've ever done. I still have like adrenaline running through me. But yeah, back at the uh, guest house now, um, there's a bus picking me up at 8.30 in two hours to overnight bus back to Hanoi. And then uh, Hanoi for a couple more days, then I'm going to Singapore. Um, and just for the record, so I stayed at a place called um, Leela Inn. Um, and I can link their information below. But uh, definitely highly recommend staying at that guest house when you come here. Um, it's run by a very, very nice uh, woman. She picked me up from the bus station when I got here. Um, they rent motorbikes. All their motorbikes are brand new Honda Blades, like literally brand new. I think I was the first one who used it. Um, you can book uh, guides through them. I booked my guide through them. Um, I'll put his name and information below too. If you're coming, uh, definitely you should get him. He's amazing. He was very patient with me taking pictures and videos and um, really, really nice and uh, just very safe driver. Safety was like his number one priority and it's just a really, really great experience. Um, and so they kind of do everything for you. They know the loop very well. They've done it multiple times. They've been doing this for a long time. So Leela Inn is kind of like a one-stop shop for like everything that you need to do this loop. Um, so definitely, definitely, definitely recommend staying here when you come here. Anyway, thanks so much for following along the last couple days. Um, I hope you enjoyed the vlogs. I hope you enjoyed, you know, I know it was a lot of like motorbike footage, but like, that's just what it is. I mean, that's what's so awesome about it. So. Until next time, guys, I will see you from Hazyang, Vietnam. Have a good night. Take care. Bye.